Hey everybody, Rochelle here. Guess what? We're going on with our little series of no bake desserts. So this is in our Christmas uh, videos and I'm going to show you how to make lemon cookie balls. They are so easy. This is a great recipe if you're out of time, if you're stressed out, if you want to cook with toddlers and you don't want to turn on the oven and all that. It's super, super simple. Really Seriously, all you need is three ingredients, and these are going to taste absolutely fabulous. So let's get to it. Comment below and tell me, do you like no-bake type desserts, cookies, and are you cooking with kids? Let's get over the bowl. So you can see here we have um, a tray of sandwich cookies and they're lemon so you can see the possibilities of this recipe is endless we're gonna make the lemon all right so you need like a 15 or 16 ounce package you need a half a block four ounces of cream cheese and you need some chocolate to cover them in so essentially all we're gonna do is whip these uh, sandwich cookies and the cream cheese up together in our handy dandy little food processor. We're gonna um, make balls out of them, cool them, and then cover them in chocolate. I do have some little sprinkles here that are yellow to remind me that these cookies are lemon. So, let's get to it. I probably have to do these in batches because I'm using the little tiny food processor here, but I keep this guy out all the time. I use him every day of my life, I do believe. Let's turn it on. Okay. So all we're going to do, yeah, is I'll add about half of the cream cheese to this batch, and then I'll use like half the cream cheese and the next batch, and then we'll kind of whip them up together. Didn't think about that I should have used the bigger food processor. All right, let's turn it on. So now we'll just take the um, dough, which is just the cream cheese and the sandwich cookies out of the food processor, put it in a bowl, and then we'll just begin to shape the little cookie balls. Um, just wanna put them into like one inch cookie balls. Once we get them made, we'll put them in the refrigerator and let them uh, chill before we coat them in the white chocolate. So really easy, right? <clears throat> so just want to roll them around a little bit, get a one inch circle, put it on some either wax paper or some aluminum foil so that these can go into the freezer or refrigerator. If you put them in the freezer, be sure you only put them in there a few minutes because you don't want them to freeze. You just want them to chill. So, I'll get back to you after we get all these uh, lemon balls rolled up. All right, these make approximately three, three and a half dozen of your lemon balls. And then we're going to pop these in the refrigerator, let them cool out. Then we're going to take um, this glass bowl. You can do it on the stovetop. I'm going to do it in the microwave. Take this glass bowl. I'm going to heat it till the water is boiling. And so I just create a double boiler. So then I heat my chocolate for 45 seconds. Stir it. Um, this is a half a bag of white chocolate. And then stir it. If it needs more, I do it at like 15 second intervals. The reason why I heat the boiling water in this is so that when I get my chocolate out, I can set it in this bowl of boiling water and it's going to keep the chocolate liquefied so that I'll have time to coat all of my lemon balls. And then I will sprinkle my little sprinkles on top because I'm getting forgetful and sometimes I think, oh, which cookie was that? Because we make so many to make up our cookie trays. Um, so there you have it. These are gonna go in the refrigerator 